Hello, I'm Cameron Smith for the Alabama Policy Institute, and here's what's happening inside Montgomery. The House Speaker's new job creation task force is asking business owners what they need to get Alabamians back to work. This session is about jobs creation. We're dealing with high unemployment. Anything we can do as a legislative body to create jobs is our primary focus. Representative Phil Williams says feedback from real people will actually impact their recommendations to House leadership. We want to hear from you, and whatever you give us, we're going to evaluate, and we promise it's not going to end up in a report that sits on somebody's shelf. We're looking to fast-track legislation to, to look at incentives, to look at red tape removal, to look at anything. And we tell people at the forum events, there's nothing that's off the table. Come share anything that you have on your mind that would help you add one job or two jobs. Williams says the task force will release its report in April. Freshman Representative April Weaver says she's proud to have sponsored a bill that will spur job growth by providing tax incentives for businesses that give employees health insurance. Weaver explains the details. House Bill 61 is a bill that increases the tax deduction for small businesses who provide health insurance for their employees. Well, not only does it help small businesses because they're able to now deduct hopefully 200% of, of what they provide in health insurance for their employees. For the employee, that also means that they now have an alternative. So they now have access to quality private health insurance, which could actually help take people off the Medicaid rolls and off the CHIP rolls. I was excited that we were all able to work together to do something great for the state of Alabama. Also in the third week of the legislative session, a bill emerged from committee improving access for military and overseas voters to cast ballots in state elections. We first told you about this initiative by Secretary of State Beth Chapman last year. We are not voting over the internet. We are simply getting them a ballot over the internet. We're getting them a ballot over a fax so they can print it from their computer. They can complete it. They've still got to have a notary signature or two witnesses. Then they send it back to us with identification and then we process those votes just as we do any other absentee ballot in the whole state. On March 25th, Governor Robert Bentley signed into law a bill that ends the Deferred Retirement Option Plan, also known as DROP. The governor signed an amended version of the bill designed to avoid future legal challenges. Bentley said the action will help balance the budget by saving millions of tax dollars. House Bill 211 is a plan to require the state to provide professional liability insurance to educators. Speaker Mike Hubbard says it's designed to help teachers focus on education rather than fearing job-related lawsuits. We'll take a closer look at the bill in the next edition of Inside Montgomery. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to info at alabamapolicy.org. For the Alabama Policy Institute, I'm Cameron Smith. Thanks for watching.